it is dark pretty much probably only going to play a couple of holes just wanted to take an opportunity to talk to you and also probably aqua woman just texted me because her video just came out the greens at my home course are going to be sanded closed off for the winter temporary greens which means no golf at my home course i may still do some ball reviews just getting a feel for the ball no more course vlogs probably until march at this course i just got off the zoom with the people at hack motion golf just went through the demo and you'll see that video coming maybe in a month or so i kind of stunned him because he got on the phone and he's like well so how much content do you do do you try to release a video you know once a week once every couple of weeks <laughs> and i told him try five or six times a week 138 i got a little tree branch here in the way back pin a little seven iron so cold it may not be so little of a seven iron That was crispy. I hit that pretty hard. So guys, just kind of looking back on this season, it amazes me that my game plan was to produce about two videos a week once we got into April to the golf season. And I just knocked that out of the water. You know, as I talked about before, October 27 videos, and September, August 23, 24 videos. The main thing is that I'm bringing content that you guys enjoy and also still having fun and enjoying it. I did get into a little bit of a period in October, focusing on the numbers and the analytics and trying to grow the channel. And I was hoping to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. That's not going to happen. I just kind of make an effort to stop worrying about that stuff. Just worry about bringing content that you guys like. I really think creating this content for you guys helped me enjoy the game again. So I got a couple other area courses that I'll be filming at throughout the winter that they're not doing temporary greens. And I hope to get to some of the courses that you guys suggested in the live, like Green Garden, Cinder Ridge, Heritage Bluff. I wish I could see the shot tracer now. To know where that ball went i know the lives aren't for everyone but if you do enjoy the live central standard time I always forget tuesday the 12th 6 30 p.m all right so luckily hit this ball in the fairway so we're able to find it see if i can find a pin up there somewhere i don't know where the pin is so we're about 155 cold air we'll hit a five hybrid almost feel like i should hit a four hybrid but five hybrid somewhere up at the middle of that green We'll find it. So another idea from the live, someone mentioned Sub 70 Golf. So I reached out to, to that company, which is, I believe, less than an hour from me. And I'm gonna go there and or review their facilities and what they do and maybe even go through a fitting. <laughs> 